Welcome to Mr. Baker Pants Plays Games. Today we're playing Summoner Wars Polar Dwarves vs. Phyrexian Elves. So I think this is a classic battle, Elves vs. Dwarves. Um, so today we are going to play it out. Um, so I'm first player. Uh, it took me a while to get a game where I was first player where you could actually see all the moves. Um, I do start recording it in this screen because this is a PWA or a progressive web app. Um, and so some of the earlier screens aren't optimized for large desktop monitors, so they look a little awkward. Um, so I kind of start off with the game in progress because that is fully responsive and it does take up uh, all the real estate of my monitor. Um, but yeah, Summoner Wars is a good game. It's kind of a uh, tactile, like, um, two, you know, player versus player game. Um, you have a board, you're moving stuff around, you're rolling dice, very much like a miniatures game. But in... Uh, in all the space that a card game would take up. All right, so the first phase of the game is the summon phase. Um, I do start off with two magic, but I don't think I have anything worth summoning. Maybe this Frost Mage. Well, let's go ahead and look at all the cards. So, oh, my summoner, um, she has structural shift. After this unit moves, it may target a friendly structure within three spaces and force that target. Uh, one space so normally walls don't move or gates don't move um, but she can actually push them around on the map which is pretty cool um, she can try to maybe push this into enemy territory um, I'm going to call them walls because in the original game they were called walls but now they're called gates uh, ice golem so this is a living wall so this card is a gate which is awesome so you can probably summon around it uh, mobile structure this card may move and then this unit moves one fewer spaces. So instead of moving um, two spaces, it can only move one. So it's fairly slow, but man, pretty powerful. Frostbolt, this unit has plus one strength for each adjacent friendly structure. So if the Ice Golem kind of follows her around, plus some walls, uh, she can become uh, really annoying to fight against. And she's ranged. So that means that she can shoot up to three clear line spaces away. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we already know what the Frexian um, Elves do because we, I played those, I think, probably like my first video. Um, but they do have momentum once per turn after this unit attacks an enemy, boosts this unit. So boost tokens are kind of used uh, for other abilities. In this case, it's uh, at the end of your attack phase, you may spend a boost token to target a friendly common unit and place it adjacent to this unit. So she can kind of like call back her guards. So you kind of, if she's getting attacked or cornered, she you know, pulling some people to kind of protect her. But it's common, so not champions. Champions are uh, a little bit more powerful unit type in the game. Um, so you can only get the commons. And then she has the Royal Guardian. Uh, each time an adjacent enemy moves or forced away, you deal one damage to it, which is pretty cool. And then you can also shove or you can attack, push it away, and then hit it for another damage because of its engaged ability. And then the Embered Archer... Uh, basically, after this unit moves, it may target a unit within three clear line straight spaces and add one damage to the target. So if you move and then there's something here, you could shoot it. Pretty cool. They're very aggressive, the Frexian Elves, I find. like Kind of like burn, like fire. And then the Polar Dwarves are kind of like their opposite. Have big damage, but kind of slow. Slow to get there. So I can summon a Frost Mage. It only costs one. This unit has plus one strength for each adjacent friendly structure, which is, again, her. And then I also have the Ice Smith. Uh, after this unit moves, you may either boost it or spend all of its boost to place it under a friendly common within three spaces. When that common attacks, the Lightning Bolts equal on the dice equal to attack. Ah, so you're kind of forging a weapon. So after this unit moves, you may either boost it or spend all of... Wait, after this unit moves, you may either boost it or spend all of its boots to place it under. So basically, you just need to get it, get it boosted once. I feel like I want to try that out. So I'm going to go ahead and throw him somewhere where I don't want to have him get hurt. And then I could play the this event. So this event, I can play it during the summoning phase. It says right here, uh, after moving or forcing a structure, you may target a unit adjacent to that structure and add one damage to the target. You may force the target one space. 
Um, interesting. Don't really want to play that yet. A little too early. So I'm going to go ahead and end the phase. I'm going to save my two mana. Now I'm in the move phase. So I think I'll probably throw her here. Toss the ice golem up. And then I'm going to put the ice smith and I am going to boost it. So that's all my moves. You can move up to three. Build phase. I have nothing to build. So now I'm in my attack phase. I only got one attack I can do, which is right there. Got it. Two tit, two hats. Yep, gone. Two hits. Uh, nothing else to attack with. In the original game, you could actually attack your own units to kind of build magic in your magic pile. Because every unit you destroy, you put into your magic pile. In the second edition, they removed that rule. All right, so now it's the build magic phase. So I'm going to discard that for magic. We'll go ahead and discard that. This is a champion. So greater frost bolt. If this this unit has plus one strength for each friendly structure. Mm, yeah, let's go ahead and try to get her out. It's six magic. So I'll be able to get her out next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and... And the phase, I draw back up to five, and now it's the computer's turn. The computer in this game is not very strong, um, but it's it's enough to kind of play out the decks and kind of get, you know, understanding how the decks work before you play multiplayer. Uh, so they're doing the Spirit of the Phoenix. When this, uh, when this ability, when the ability of a friendly unit adds damage to the enemy, okay. Add one more damage. Ooh. So, oh, I was going to try to read that. Uh, when it seemed to be some adjacent to a friendly ember unit, and at the start of the move phase, I had one damage to each adjacent enemy. Ouch. I don't know if the computer is uh, is moving or not. I might have, I might have glitched the game out by trying to read a card. Alright, so that event is in play. I don't see any, uh... Yeah, I might have glitched the game out. I don't see this little AI thinking down here. Alright, let me go back to single player. Uh, we'll continue. It does save the game. There we go. We got him unglitched. Hey, it looks like I found a bug. I'll probably report that. I'm um, just trying to zoom cards. Kind of broke the logic of the game. Alright, so now we have Divine Retribution. Your summoner has this ability. After this unit, or a friendly unit, within three spaces attacks. Or is attacked by an enemy. Oh yeah, add one damage to that enemy. So basically, um, kind of shielding my his characters. Alright, so we got the summon. We're going to put her out there. I wish I had some structures. I will get some more. Ice repair. Remove two damage from each friendly structure, which is pretty sweet. When can I play that? The move phase. Um, do I have the bear with trample, which means I can move through units, common units. And then friendly units may attack through this card. So I got like a little structure, a little ice wall. All right. And when can I play that? I'll probably do my build phase. Okay. So let's go ahead. Nothing to summon uh, well, other than her. Um, move phase. I would like to try to kill that guy. So maybe I'll do this. Spend boost. Throw it on her. Move her up to here. Move Ice Golem so she can gain attack. And then my build phase. I could throw... Uh, I was hoping I could throw a structure there, but I can't. I can only build next to my summoner. Um...
kind of I feel like I want to save that but I will throw my other wall down I think I'll drop it right there I think I can always move it okay so that's what I'm gonna do and then I maybe I'll throw this and I can move that up I just thought just to kind of block that guy okay Okay. Probably gonna lose her. Yeah, let's go ahead and discard the bear. I know it's a common unit, so we have more of those. I am gonna keep repair though, because these structures are probably gonna take some damage. So let's keep those. Whoa! Okay, got another ice golem and. Target up to three friendly structures within three spaces of, of your summoner. Force to target one to two spaces. Sweet. All right, so that's what I'm going to try to do. Let me get her behind these this wall line and start trying to push it forward if I can. So there's the computer doing some weird moves. Like, I think it just has to move four things. And so it's just kind of like, doot, doot. I feel like polar dwarves are not really my style of play. They're kind of slow. All right. I feel like it's like I'm slowly building up to something. All right, gone. Nope. Now she's gone. That's fine. Okay. All right, so now he's telling me to try to stop that. All right, so I got to summon. Don't think I have anything to summon because I have no magic. I have one. Um, so let's do the move phase. Well, I wonder if this counts as a structure. Um, I'm going to move this wall up. She has range, so I'm going to kind of pull her back from that guy. Ah! Oh, see? <laughs> I, I guess I should have went like this, then up. Wah, wah. The game did not take the optimal move. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw this down. There we go. Oh yeah, so that does. The golem does count as okay. Well, I don't know why I didn't think that would work, but it does. Um, we're gonna build. So I don't think I can. I guess I could move like this, but now I'm gonna hold on to that card. Go to the attack phase. We're gonna attack this guy. Get him out of there. Hopefully, there we go. We got him. And then hit her. Got him. Oh no, he has three life. Whoa. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and discard that. And I'm gonna discard the bear. Um, I feel like I wanna keep Ice Golem. So I'm gonna end it there. Okay, there we go. Computer turn. Let's do it. All right, so I think what I'm going to try to do now that I have like some the bodies cleared away is I'm going to continue to you know try to use my summoner to push these walls up if I can. I don't know why she didn't just move up and then put the wall there because you can put you can summon walls anywhere around your summoner. That's a good way to kind of get uh, walls in your opponent's zone. Right. Good thing I kept that that golem. I think my one golem is gonna die. There he is, dead.
Come on. There we go. Well, that's kind of good for me. It kind of lets me reset her. All right, summon phase. Definitely gonna. I think I'm definitely gonna throw the ice column out. I say that, and then now I'm I'm second guessing. All right, I'm gonna throw the ice column out. I could have threw the bear out, but I think golem. I think I have a plan. I have a plan. I'm thinking. All right, so now we're gonna go to our move phase. So he has to stay. I am going to throw her here, push this wall up, I can summon the bear right there next turn hopefully, and then she is okay there, she can hit that guy, Ice Golem's not moving, so I think we're good on moves. Um, I think I might hang on to the wall, but I will throw this little guy out. Oh, it would be nice just to like push this up into that and just kind of back him in that corner. Okay. And that's not going to do anything, so we'll go ahead and end the turn. Now we're in the attack phase. Hopefully this guy dies. Boom. Yeah, that's all my attacks. Build magic. Man, now I'm going to keep the bear. I'm, I'm not going to discard. Well, I need to discard. I guess I'll discard Glacial Shift. The health. And then that way I have enough mana to play the bear. Oh, I nah, I don't really I don't understand the ice smith. I mean I do, but there's the computer doing the weird stuff. I must move. Why would you put a gate back there? Like it's like oh I must play a gate, you know. So I mean you can tell the AI is programmed a little weird, but like I said, it's good enough to see how the decks play out. And to be honest with you, it's kind of challenging right now. I'm, I'm definitely not in control. But I just think it's because the Polar Dwarves are just not my style of play. They're a little too slow, not, not aggressive. Yikes. They're going to attack my walls. All right, well, that's good because I did just want to get my bear up there. Where, oh, where is bear? Oh, I could do Golem. Might last, no, the bear lasts just as long, has five health. So we're gonna do that. Um, th maybe, is it common unit? Uh, common. Well, I could throw it there just to gate lock that. And then maybe if my bear's still alive, I could try to all right, so now we're going to go to the move phase. Bear's going to go here. This will go here. And we will boost it. Now the question is, well, she can hit that guy just fine. She doesn't need to move. Gollum. Gollum might want to move in there. But I did want to start pushing these walls up. All right, I'm going to throw Gollum in there. And end the move phase. Do I want to build a structure? No, I'm going to wait. So we're going to end that phase. Move to attack. I'm going to attack with her first. Got him. All right, so then... Verse the summoner. Nice. And Gollum. All right, end of that phase. Now we're on the magic phase. We'll go get rid of the Frost Mage. I think I'll drop the that since I know that three is kind of like the number I need to like get bears out. Ooh, we got both of our champions. 
All right, well, we don't want to zoom in on cards while the computer's playing because that kind of uh, the game last time. I mean, it is pretty cool. This is the website. I mean, it plays really nice. It looks really good. Plays really good. Oh, man, they are surrounding that bear. So mad about the the attack on the bear. Well, I wonder if they're going to focus on the bear. Yep. So that's one hit. But the bear has five life, though. So. Interesting move there. Okay, so the bear will live another day. I have an idea. Alright, so I'm at the summon phase. I think I'm going to not summon anything because I want to get these champions out. Uh, once per turn after this unit attacks, an enemy unit boosts this unit, and at the end of the build phase, you may spend one boost to add one damage to each enemy unit adjacent to one or more structures. Whoa. Crazy. Uh, and then, cold snap, friendly structures have plus one life. Interesting. Okay. That means my golems would have six life? Or, yeah, six life. All right. Um... I think I'm going to wait on that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the move phase. I think I want to go like this. Spend the boost on the bear. Then move bear next to summoner. Because I could get a nice big attack on there. And then I think... That gate's going to blow, isn't it? I was going to say I can move there and try to push that up. I think that's fine. I think the smart move would be to drop that there. Just to try to kill something. I think cut my losses. I know this is going to die. I can rebuild it. Uh, actually, I could probably give it some life. Oh, no, this is the one where I move. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do this. Wait. There, I can lock that out. How many is it? Where's my event? I don't know how many, how many I can force. Hmm. I would like to maybe switch these around. Alright, I before I do this, I need to look. Place for shift. Is it three friendly structures? Okay. Yeah, I think I might move it here. And then move this one here. Yeah. So here. To here. One, two. And then I can attack. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's a good move. All right. So now let's go to end. Gonna wait on this again. I like how I can play the ice golems. during the build phase. That's kind of something I just noticed now. Okay, so obviously attacking the summoner when you got a chance to hit the summoner. Boom, six damage. Look at that. That bear doing the business. Boom, a little, little light touch. And then look, I got this attack now. Cool, that worked out. All right. Um, man, it's good. I'm gonna have to work hard to get these uh, champions out. Uh oh, bear is not gonna make it. I'm gonna need to figure out a way to sneak in there though to, to do that one last hit on the champion. All right, here's those burn spells that are coming. So bear's probably dead. 
bear did its job though. Yeah, that with the the I don't know what the uh, I guess the um what weapon did the bear have that the dwarf uh made the ice smith made maybe like ice ice claws. Mm. Look at that rookie move, AI. Right there, wide open. Do I have a range? No. It's like it knew what was in my hand. Is the computer cheating? Oh, I do have a range. Yeah, but I don't have enough mana. Magic. Oh, it's like it knew it was in my hand. Left itself open like that. Hmm. Alright, I'll throw this here. Because it's free. Alright, now let's do moves. So we're going to move her up. Move this up. I think I'll keep him... I'll keep all this here. Well, I guess I could do this. Might as well. Oh, what did I do? I could have moved up to there. Is there an undo? Then... Is there an undo? Yeah, I should take the opportunity to hit the damage. I... I broke my own rule. Remember I said if you have an opportunity to go after the the summoner, you got to do it. And I almost didn't do it. Um, going to save those gates. Well, I guess I'll build the one. I have two gates. There's no use having two gates. There's really not a good spot for it, though. I guess right here. Right here. Because I want to have enough. You know, I don't want to like summon block my own wall. All right, end that phase. Now we're in the attack. So let's see, can we end the game right here? Come on. Yes. Boom. One. All right. Yeah. Polar dwarves are victorious. Well, um, very interesting. I I think the polar dwarves, they're kind of neat right so we have the the creatures that are you know there are units that are walls and you can actually summon them during the summon phase and you can build them during the build phase that is insane um especially where you could do the combo of like building a gate and then summoning that thing uh in enemy lines you know because the order of operations is like summon move build but the fact that you could build and then summon build uh, a golem, pretty crazy. Um, but I think it kind of makes up for what I feel. It makes up for like how slow um, those those uh, golems are. Right? They only move one space a turn, so they'd be, they'd be able to kind of like throw down one of those like uh, temporary walls and then have that summon next to it is pretty pretty groundbreaking. Um, definitely locks up the board a lot with all those, like, structures and then being able to heal those structures. So as the enemy's trying to, like, knock them down, you're rebuilding them back up. Pretty cool. Um, I kind of like them, but they are a little slow, right? I felt like it was, like, you're just kind of slowly building stuff and kind of slowly pushing your structures forward. Um, you're not really being that aggressive. Like, none of your units are super aggressive. Um... And even the aggressiveness of your units takes time, right? So, yeah, the ice bear is great and all, but it only you only roll two dice or three, three or two or three dice. I can't remember right now. Um, but the fact that you can kind of boost them up with the uh, guy who makes weapons for your units, the ice smith, is pretty cool. But that takes time, right? You have to move it, boost it, and then move it again and then attach it to a unit. So you're kind of making the weapon and then giving it to uh, another unit. But again, that takes time. And that guy only has two health. So he could die while trying to give that, that weapon to somebody. Um, but that's pretty cool that, that you do have that. Um, and it is, you know, two damage on a lightning bolt. That is crazy. As you saw that one turn, that ice bear, six damage to the summoner. So yes, they're slow. But man, they can hit hard, uh, you know, uh, once they get up there. 
So yeah, I kind of like the Polar Dwarves. Very interesting. It feels a lot different than the other two factions that we played on the channel. Um, we'll probably want to start playing this multiplayer. I think the AI... Um, you know, yes, it's good enough to kind of see how the decks play out, which I think I will play through all the factions against the AI just to kind of see how each deck plays out. Um, but I really need to start playing some humans uh, to really test my strategy. But anyway, this was Summoner Wars. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. And if you ever want to play, uh, comment and we can kind of work out a time to play together and maybe I'll stream it. All right, I'll see you.